Hi, welcome back. We're working in Module 13 now in PowerPoint 2016, and we're talking about transitions. Now, transitions are going to be different ways that the slides actually appear when you're running through your slideshow. It gives them a little animated effect. So let's kind of go through and talk a little bit about how to apply them, and then we'll go to Section 2 when we're finished and talk about the options for your transitions. We're back in our presentation now, and what I'd like to do is just run through the slideshow real quick to see what my presentation would actually look like at this point. So I'm going to click on the Slideshow tab, and I'm going to choose From Beginning. Now, in Office 2016, they've really changed how the slideshow looks when you're running it. If you're using a dual monitor setup like I am, you can actually switch what they call the presenter view and the slide view. So let me go ahead and do that. Now this is what we call the slideshow view. This is what your audience would see as you're presenting your presentation. Now I can click the mouse and go back and forth between the slides, but notice the slides are just there. If we apply a transition, I can have the slides come in from the left, maybe fizzle in. I can give it a little animated effect, so it adds a little pizzazz to my presentation. So I'm going to click Escape, and I'll show you how to add these transitions. Under the Transitions tab, you'll notice here are your transitions you can choose from. Now, whichever slide you're clicked on is the one that you will apply that transition to. You can have the same transition on all the slides or a different one on each slide. So notice I can choose Cut or I can choose Fade. And you can see as you choose each one of these, it shows you what that particular slide is going to look like when the transition appears. So I'm not going to click on every one of these, but notice they're grouped by Subtle. Then they have some exciting ones here. This one is new. There are several new ones now. Here's another one, Glitter. This one's kind of cool. And then the last grouping they have is what they call Dynamic Content. So you can decide if you need a subtle transition or if you need a dynamic transition. So I'm going to go ahead and click on each one of these and just choose one. I'll just randomly choose one. Now if you knew that you randomly wanted to choose one on all of your slides, there is a random option here. And let me show you how that would work. You would select all of your slides by holding down Control and hitting the letter A. That's your Select All. And you can see they're all selected. Now if you wanted, you could choose Random, which is under the Exciting Grouping, and it randomly applies a transition to each one. Now notice the little star to the left of each of your slides. That indicates a transition has been applied. Now sometimes when I'm working with transitions, I would rather see them in a different view. So down at the very bottom, if you can see where I'm pointing, this is Slide Sorter View. Now I can see the transitions a little bit better. I can see the little star on the bottom. And when you click on each slide, it's going to show you the transition that was applied. In this case, they were all random. Now I'm going to go click on Slide 1 again, and I'm going to run back through my slideshow. So I'll go to Slideshow and choose from the beginning. Now I'm going to go ahead and swap my presenter view and slide view again, and I'm going to run through and notice how the slides come in. You can see some of them come up from the bottom, from the left, some of them have a little effect to them, and every slide is going to have a little effect like this. Isn't that cool? Okay, I'll just hit escape right here, you get the idea. Now, if at any time you want to change the current transition, all you've got to do is click on that slide and pick the transition that you want from the transitions to the slide option here. So that's how that's going to work. So what I'd like to do now is talk to you a little bit over in the second section about some of the options you have when you're working with transitions. Hi, I'm Molly. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see similar videos, click the subscribe button on the right. I'll see you next week with additional videos.